Hi, I'm Jake with Hearted Reflections. What we're gonna do today, we're going to change out this laminate countertop and we're gonna install an ash butcher block countertop. A couple questions that we get all the time are, number one, how are you gonna put a sink on the butcher block? And then how are we gonna work this miter right here? As well as how are we gonna join two butcher blocks together? So over the next couple hours, you're gonna transform this kitchen into a really contemporary workspace. So stay tuned and uh, watch. So when you get your butcher blocks, you're gonna notice one side is a very, very clear side on this ash. And if you flip it over, you're gonna have a side that's got knots. So what we're gonna do here before we install our countertops and cut them, we're gonna, we're gonna treat the underside of the butcher block. Now what that's gonna do, it's gonna prolong the life of the block, and even though you'll never see it, it's gonna seal in all of the elements. I'm using a Hearted Reflections satin top coat. I'm gonna seal just a, one or two coats on each of the back sides here, and then on to the next step. So what we have now, we've measured the sink that's gonna go into our butcher blocks. This run is a little over 12 feet long. So what we did, we took an eight footer and a six footer. We've mitered the six footer. We've cut the eight footer down because when we seam the sink, we want the sink to be right in the middle. And then we wanna make this line almost invisible. We're gonna make a cut right here. And from there, we're gonna install it. And just so you know, a testament to the strength of these blocks, this is 25 inches. Our sink is gonna take up 21 inches of this cut and it's gonna be very, very stable. So what we've done, we brought everything back into the kitchen and we just wanted to make sure that everything fit correctly. So here we have our two butcher blocks on this side. We're making sure that they match up really, really well together. Our sink fits and this miter works really good here. In order to make this true and to line up just correctly is we're gonna use a DeWalt biscuit joiner and we're gonna put biscuits about every six to seven inches right in here and uh, we're gonna make this corner nice and uniform. We're gonna go ahead and put some glue inside the holes from our biscuit joint, put our biscuits in there, and then we're gonna put a little glue along this line here, and then we're gonna slide them both together. So what we've done, we've put our biscuit joints together. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna wait for the glue to cure. After that, we're going to stain it and then install it. Thank you. 
we've completely transformed this kitchen and it took less than a day. You know, when we started, we had an old 30 year old kitchen, the old laminate countertops. Now we have beautiful ash countertops. We put a walnut stain on them. We got a good looking sink. And I tell you what, this house is completely transformed. Thanks for joining.